Maryland is now home to one of the few Korea towns in the country. It's set in Howard County, just outside of Ellicott City. A traditional Korean scul uh, sculpture or structure, excuse me, has been built to represent the new town. And WJZ got a look at the opening ceremony. And with the cut of the ribbon, the plan to expand diversity in Maryland has been realized. Koreatown has officially made it to our state, making it one of the very few in the country. Governor Larry Hogan, First Lady and Honorary Chair Yumi Hogan, along with South Korean Ambassador to the U.S. Lee Soo Hyuk, were there in Ellicott City to see it all Saturday. Maryland is very proud of the special bond that we have with Korea. And we've been working hard uh, to make that bond even stronger. Just in the last year, Yumi Hogan signed an agreement for economic growth and development between the state of Maryland and the Republic of Korea. Saturday was the latest step in their relationship. This area is now home to a community of thousands of Korean Americans whose influence stretches across the state. This traditional Korean structure has been built to represent the new Koreatown. Even a local Taekwondo team showed off their skills as part of the opening ceremony. An area Governor Hogan once called Korean Way in 2016 is home to thousands of Korean Americans. The commitment is growing rapidly, which is a win for diversity along Route 40 in Howard County.